Good morning and welcome. It's a Tuesday edition for Wake Up Nigeria. And like a true friend that we are, and that we always are, there's, a, well, hey, so much to wake up to here, especially a warm cup of your favorite beverage and the faces you love to see every single morning. Definitely now each morning, we get you out of bed. Huh. Who's in bed by seven? Ah, well, yeah, big and boy. Plenty. Big girl, <laughs> plenty. Exactly. And of course, uh, ensuring that we give you the right dose of family breakfast here to give you that uh, groundbreaking start for the day that you deserve. Absolutely. So, hey, call a friend, tell a neighbor to turn on their television sets as we create yet another memorable experience for you guys out there. Yeah, it's a season for appreciation, a season to express love, and we are doing all of that. We ensure that we are going to give you all of our love like we've done. Uh, Monday, we're going to call it, we're going to, we're going to get a winner week today, long. right? Yes, we're getting a winner today for our yesterday's show. And of course, today again, we're going to be giving somebody out. And you can see mm. the celebrations are started. There were 10 bottles standing oh, on the wall. Oh, oh, I and Mike oh, have drunk oh, it. Oh, water. Oh, the water that was this side. Stand that they said 10 bottles. Okay. <laughs> what? There is water inside the bottles. Water this side, water. <laughs> but come on, it's great to have you. My name is Mike Mesikeno. And of course, my name is Mazino Appeal. Do stay tuned because we've got so much coming your way. Do remember to stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook as well at TVC Connect. You want to watch us live on Go TV Channel 27 as well and UHF Channel 49. Mm, of course, you can download the app. It's available on iOS and Android. Let's get straight into what we have for you yes. this uh, morning. But we also have a beautiful and you're looking so lovely. Oh, yes, let's not forget to. How could we, Mike? How could we? Sure, Chef and your life representing see, look, today. I actually do love that hairstyle. It's yeah. one of my you. favorite for ladies. I love the hairstyle. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's grand. We can't wait to see what she's going to be making for us this morning. So let's let you guys know what we have coming your way. We will be talking about setting goals for your kids in the new year on parenting. And Juliet Vincent Obi, an educationist and child entrepreneur enthusiast, will be joining us. Singer-songwriter Paul Akabwe, popularly known as J Grid, will be joining us for a special performance as well, by the way. So just hang in there. Welcome yeah. to Tuesday edition. There's so much testosterone in the house, by the yeah. way. But it's all good. We're not complaining. <laughs> you know, not, I, not yet. In, in, incidentally, I think it was last week and all that when um, I read the, the demerits of having too much testosterone in your system, especially oh. the ones from um, supplements, mm. you know, for bodybuilders. Well, what are the disadvantages, I wonder? Oh. When it's when you get too much external testosterone, uh -huh. your your body where it comes from, the internal ones feels like okay, there's okay. enough. Yeah, I you're don't doing need to enough. produce oh, so yeah. uh, so much, and then it, it, it so happens that your it starts slacking oh. because there's there's it's enough a, yeah. externally, so wow. it's, it relaxes and it actually does affect. Well, that's interesting. I wouldn't want to try that then. You don't, yeah. you don't need to if you're at it. Yeah, if you have, if it's naturally there. So I hit the road this morning to get to work. <laughs> um, recently, I've been getting to work earlier and earlier. Okay. Um, I don't know why. There's just something about that very early morning being on the road all by yourself. And there's nobody there. So I hit the road as early as 4 a.m. sometimes. Wow. And I just love driving all by myself. Sometimes I do, as fast but as man, I could. I, I, I envy you because as much as I've done breakfast TV for a very long time, mm -hmm. I'm just, I would still say I'm not a morning person. I'm just used to it. I do enjoy the ride. I I just, but today was different. Okay. I don't know what's going on out there, but today is the, what, 20th? 20, 20, today is the 20th. 20th. Yes, it yes. is. 20th. It is. And 20th. everybody decided to hit the road today going to the village. Woo. There's so many Sienna buses out there. <laughs> so many people with loads on top of their vehicles or car or boots half open, which is dangerous, by the way. I yeah. can imagine that everybody's heading to, to their well, origins and stuff like and that. that. They picked the 20th, I guess because Sunday is Christmas, so they want to be there for at least part of the weekend. The weekend, then. all of that. The weekend will be all about celebrations. All about celebration, yeah. Why, why did everybody think at the same time and decide to hit the road? To hit the road, yeah. It, it calls for you to be very careful because I had the instance of one of these guys actually almost try to run me off the road. I don't wow. know. You only just started your journey at 4 a.m. and you're already and you're going already, that fast. You're already going that fast, yeah. Perhaps with a family. So what's the rest of the day going to be like? Maybe they're trying to Beat um, the use the time, yeah. Use that two, one hour before yeah. people come up, one, two hours and gather enough, you know, steam. Yeah. I can get imagine. Get enough steam and all of that, maybe. Yeah. Because maybe, probably by the time they get to probably Ore or somewhere, mm -hmm. It will start, you know, the yeah. start well, Do be careful out there, all of Please you guys. Do. We've never had that privilege or opportunity to say we're traveling during the holidays. I okay. mean, my entire... My never? Never. My okay, entire travel history. every other time. So. I travel every other time. <laughs> but to travel and find everybody in one place at the same time, the especially same time. during the festive season, season, I've never seen it. Oh. I'm always a lone rider. Oh, okay. But yeah, But, you, you know, uh, I think uh, for a lot of us who love and have learned how to enjoy our own company, mm -hmm. it's not really a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> Thank you for staying tuned. It is time for the news updates on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi.
President Mohamed Buhari says he fixed his return from the United States to Sunday, a day after his birthday, to avoid the celebration. But it appeared his wish for a quiet day was denied by the staff of the presidential villa, the chief of staff to the president, and the secretary to the government of the federation, uh, led staff of the presidential villa, to facilitate with President Mohamed Buhari on his 80th birthday and present uh, him with cards and goodwill messages. President Buhari appreciated the gesture and encomium showered on him, but he insists his birthday is no more than just another day in the office. There was a peaceful protest on the streets of Abuja against the alleged discovery of a suit secretly filed by the State Security Service accusing Mr. Godwin Emefiele of terrorism financing, as well as other crimes it described as economic crimes of national security dimension. The protesters marched to the office of the Attorney General of the Federation, where they submitted a petition against the action of the SSS. They also had submitted a similar letter to the office of the President, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Inspector General of Police, amongst others. The groups, which rose from a press conference before they embarked on the march, alleged that there is a plot to remove the CBN governor for political and pecuniary measures. Pecuniary reasons, rather. To deliver our letter to the Attorney General of the Federation, to tell him, exercise your constitutional powers to take over, continue or discontinue any proceeding, any criminal or civil proceeding against by or the federal government of Nigeria. The Attorney General should rise up and defend the constitution of Nigeria by taking over this secretly fight proceeding and discontinue it against the TBN governor. To submit our letter of complaint and a petition of thorough investigation and call for thorough investigation into the activities of the Director General of the State Security Service and also investigate the allegations that the Central Bank Governor is a terrorist. To foreign news now, five people have died after a gunman opened fire at a block of flats in Toronto, Canada. Police responded to reports of the shooting at the building in Vaughan at just about uh, 30 kilometers north of Toronto on Sunday. Shooting the suspect dead there, another injured person has been taken to a hospital in a serious condition. Authorities are investigating the motive, including a possible connection between the gunman and the victims. York Police Chief Jim McSween said attending officers were met with a horrendous scene, with numerous deceased victims found in different parts of the building. Ontario Special Investigations Unit, which probes police involved death in the region, said in a press statement that the dead is a 73-year-old man. And that's it on the news updates for the Sound Week of Nigeria. There's so much more to come. to stay with us. Well, you're welcome. And it's time to let you know what the headlines are inside of the dailies, should you pick one today. This morning, we're going to be starting from the Nation newspaper. It is a Tuesday, the 20th of December. So come along now. Let's start with the Nation newspaper for this morning. And if you pick up a copy, um, front page you will find workers to get better deal. Tina Bushro's NLC and TUC, ex Lagos governor, present uh, presents plan to union uh, leaders, and Labour gives APC candidates charter of demands. And there you can see the photo story. There's also a quote from him right under. At the top of the Nation newspaper, how we will stop vote buying by IG. Einek and bandits kill 28 in southern Kaduna, raised many houses. Very unfortunate. Petrol scarcity persists as motorists groan and Obi's campaign DG jailed two years for money laundering. Let's move on now to our next daily for this morning. And we have with us a News Direct. First big headline for the News Direct. PVC harvesting, INEC IGP blow tough to hunt vote-buying politicians. 
reject inducement through vote buying, INEC chairman says, and says buying of PVCs are diabolical. Our men are on intelligence mission to arrest vote buying politicians, say the IG, and says money, polit uh, money politicians poorly perform uh, recouping election spendings, uh, their priority. That you'll find on page two. At the top of the Nigerian News Direct, insecurity can mourn death of over 28 persons in fresh Kaduna attack. Attacks on INEC facilities pose sabotage to 2023 elections, says Falana and alleged terrorism funding, uh, court stops DSS from arresting Emifiele. At the bottom, for News Direct, 240 million naira money laundering, court convicts Okube of corruption, pays 13 million naira fine, and 80 million Nigerians will not have a full-time job by 2030, says the World Bank. That's rather grim. But pick up that story and tell us what you think. Moving on now to the Punch newspaper for this morning, a Tuesday, we have this headline here. Rising attacks vote buying threaten polls. INEC cries out. Commission says violence may mar election, prevent presidential poll winning from emerging. Uh, poll winner, rather. Electoral body plans supplementary budgets to replace destroyed buildings, equipment, and others. An IG EFCC boss warned politicians against inducement. Survey puts 33 states on vote buying watch list. At the top for the punch. Courts stops the Mifiele's uh, arrest groups back CBN governor and Naira de redesign will affect poor Nigerians, says SMEs. Uh, poor Nigerians and SMEs, says the World Bank. That on page 19, a very interesting read, I assure you. And FG begins 11 power projects, plans 3,750 megawatts generation. Well, that's all we can take for this morning for the papers or the headlines. Rather, do grab one if you'd like. Would love to con uh, converse with you. Use the hashtag Wake Up Niger on TVC. We'll be back after this break. Morning and welcome. It's time for our well, what's up and about session here. And welcome, um, ladies. Welcome, Mary. Good to see you guys. Uh, I wanted to bring your attention to something that I saw this morning uh, on uh, Emmanuel Ogoli's page. It was a very interesting read, and he simply had a picture of Davido and Chioma on it, and he asked, please read. Very interesting. So I did the entire thing. Not many people do that these days. But I want to take an excerpt from it. He was referring to their relationship and what they've been through and how people, especially the media, has taken, um, well, you know, nitpicked that it's, you know, especially from the very disadvantaged position. But here is what he says. Somewhere before the end of his entry, he says, these two experience one of the worst tragedies that can wreck a union in uh, the loss of their son. They also managed to return from a breakup. They survived almost millions of opinions, tugging at their peace. The threat of ethnic divide has no hold on them. The pressure on him, has, uh, on him by other girls to replace her may have been a joke compared to how many men must have promised her a million times more. Uh, just to be the next man to step out with her. Trust my gender, they'll do it. They survived all of that. I see two youngsters who have set an example of what it is like to fight for what you have. A real effort we must admire. An example that should inspire not just celebrities, but every other person scared of trying. I found it very, very wholesome and interesting that somebody would actually put a very long write-up about these two and in such, from such a position. Because they've been through so much. And I think that if anything, the present generation has a lot to learn from these two. And I really hope that somewhere at the end that they find peace and everything comes together for them. Because I think they are an exemplary couple. I don't know what you guys think, but that's my entry here. Basically, uh, so um, I, I, I remember when, when I first, when, I found, when we found out that he was going to perform in Qatar. Mm -hmm. And of course, that was... Um, uh, that was an agreement he had to he had to do, but then he had to cancel all that um, tours. Tours. Mm -hmm. He had his own, own tour, um, yeah. tour in Atlanta, in the, yeah, in the US. which he had to cancel and yeah. all of that, you know. And he he put up something after then. I think yesterday he said see you in March, and there's talk that it's an album, or there's talk that okay he might just go off social media up until then. For me, I'm more concerned about his mental health. It's not mm -hmm. not about him coming to perform. If performing will help him, so then so be it. But if it's not. Um, whichever way, I don't think that he should move, um, he should uh, let the pressure mm -hmm. from people get to him. And for their relationship, we really, I really don't know what's going on inside mm -hmm. there. I don't know if they are married. There was talk that they have they they married. Yeah, they had a ma yeah. they've been married mm -hmm. and if they're a couple now. And if, if it happened after that time, then probably they had a reason to want mm -hmm. to you know? Show that right. unity, your uniform. Get it together. Yeah, get it together. I, I just think that we don't celebrate them enough. And I think that for such a union that we should blow 
bigger trumpets, we should actually congratulate them more and all of that in light of everything that they have well, But why? Through. Why should we go but that day? Because they're exemplary. That's exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, in what way? I, I, and this is very being very objective. Yeah. In what way like do I you just mean? read. I'm, I'm, trust me, Mike. I'm like, I, like, like I've just read. Mm. They've been through so much, but yet their union stands strong. Stands strong. Exactly. Okay. I mean, think about it. Other couples or other celebrity couples that have been through one tenth of what these two have been have through, been through. Like, would have already caved in because of mm -hmm. the social pressure, things people say, all the this and that, nitpicking that everything. I just think that these two have found out a formula to actually keep them together. Whatever it is, I think they should actually share it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, they have? Um, couples go through a lot. I know Divanj and his wife lost um, a baby as well, mm -hmm. their son. Uh, it's always an unfortunate thing. And the, the thing with losing a child, it can either ruin your relationship or, or make it stronger. Make both stronger yeah. There's usually no midway there. So... If it's able to make a relationship stronger, then congratulations to them. Uh, relationships usually endure test of time. Mm. And so with time, you would know whether it's going to really strengthen mm. them or because there will always be lapses, thoughts, regrets every now and then. So we can only hope the best for them. I remember um, MM and I earlier were even referring, we were actually having a conversation about uh, Michelle Obama's um, recent um, conversations. Mm -hmm. Uh, talking about her own experience, how at some point she didn't even like being married, but mm. she stayed mm. because of one thing or the other. So when you look at relationships like that, they, they actually inspire people to want to make the most of it. But then even at that, we should always keep in mind that every relationship is unique. What works for one person might not work for the, other, other, work for the other. So right. if a couple broke up because they lost a child or something, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that they are terrible. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's yeah. just, it just they are good, just with their yeah. threshold. Yeah. 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 That, that's not, my opinion. Not everybody yeah. will yeah, stay, stay together. Yeah, stay not everybody will stay together. That doesn't make them bad people. It just yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, look at Jello. Yeah. Jello, with all the gun and come back, haven't they? Thanos. <laughs> six shots. Yeah, no, she's more than Thanos. More than Thanos, yeah. Just six minutes. Can you guys stop? Can you guys stop? I you love are, Now you're you. making jest of J-Lo. You're As laughing it, at this, her, her situation. But I the truth is, it's not a situation because I want to believe that for every marriage that she's been through, she's, learned she's been better. Yeah. Right. Because it's an experience. Six rings, I mean, it's six a marriages. journey. Yeah. So, I mean, for every journey, for every marriage that she's been in, she's a better person. And I think that's what... Um, being you or being into relationships should be and about. And you know something I've also so, noticed about life? There's something I've noticed about life. <laughs> a, a female might go through 20, 30 relationships. Mm -hmm. And just because she's not married, mm -hmm. people ignore exactly. all those relationships. All the little, yeah. And then a female might go through 10 relationships or 8 relationships, mm -hmm. be married to 5 of them, engage to 2 of them, and she's a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, the, the way the world measures things I think from this amazing. difficult situation, what I'm going to take away from, or what I think everyone should take away from it is, these are two people that are coming together to make it work, not just one person. Yeah. yeah. Two, people, two people, guys. Yes. Two people. By the way, for Jello, yes. I'm up for you. Going to marry 20 times. I'm, 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 At this point, if I we'll get take my a break. Please times, ignore Mike. Cool. I don't understand. Jello, Mike is waiting in line. Kudos, it's very well done. David O and Chioma, well done. We celebrate you guys. <laughs> now, for this chef, I don't think I need to be here. She can do all of it alone. Let me just chill. Keep quiet. Eniola, take it away. All right, guys. So today, um, Mike and I would be making well done butter garlic steak with mm. corn succotash. So it's actually um, an American dish which has corn and veggies and them spices. Woo! I'm not used to this. Thing. Tell us, what are, what are we working with? Um, we're working with, okay, so I have- You're doing this alone, I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm just, I'm <laughs> observing here. So you right, go well, ahead, yeah, go fine. ahead. So um, here we have um, green peas, green bell pepper, and red bell pepper. We have um, cloves, you know, just that spice, that taste. I don't know what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have cloves. <laughs> we have um, dry thyme, garlic, ginger, seasoning cubes, dry pepper powder. We have rosemary leaves. This is actually the dried ones anyways. We have sweet corn here. We have um, onions. We have butter, oil, honey, lemon, and cucumber. There's honey inside. Yes, please, there is. Whew, once again, so for people that are not getting it, because even me, I did not get the name. It is just well done it. butter garlic steak. With oh. sacotage. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll just uh, get you the ingredients. You can see it there. All right, so yeah, run us through. That's the ingredients there. So run us through. Okay, yeah, so um, the ingredients are salt, peas, garlic, thyme, cloves, honey, onions, cucumber, beef or steak, corn, um, red bell pepper, dried pepper powder. We have rosemary leaves. We have butter, lettuce, and yeah, that's all really. 
Are we, are we cutting the something? No, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tenderize this, put it on the chopping board, and hit it with, you know, just to make it soft, Ooh. tender. Yes. Okay. In case you don't have the tenderizer, you can easily just opt for this. This tenderizer? How does it look yeah. like? Okay, it's like um, um, a hammer. But it has like this very I know, rough, I know it, it has this rough mouth. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. so it just it's horror film I watched that make me remember it. Uh, uh, no, it's also don't mistake <laughs> it for <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's too much. There's, there's just so much of a similarity between the kitchen and the torture room. Oh sh oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're not expecting that. I wasn't. Right? I thought you wanted to say Christmas something. But there is, there is. Because I was ah. on set recently and okay. I had to go into somewhere they call the abattoir on this particular show. Oh, wow. And yeah, I just thought about it, that look, there's just so many things that look like a kitchen in here. <laughs> but it was not a kitchen for cooking food. All right, so, it was for cooking um, other things. so we're just going to season this um, beef. Oh, we season it before we start the I already mash, sliced right? them thinly, so we really do not need that. OK. Yeah, they're thinly sliced already. Mm. So we just need to. Um, and then, oh, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, yeah, when people make barbecue, right, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the spices don't get inside or they don't stick, they fall off. So what you do is, before you put those spices, you just drizzle oil, mm. massage. What oil does, does oil have something? Yeah, it would make the seasoning stick. Would it make it stick? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, honey? Honey is actually for the sacotage. Okay, just, so you're not going to pour honey inside? No, 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 no. It's for the um, sacotage and also with the lemon. Mm, so okay. yeah, let's do this. All right, so do you want to do this? Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. get your spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just, yeah. You will, okay, so what do we start with? Which one? Which um, one do we start with? Just small salt. This salt? Yes. Ah no, no. Put salt now. Be generous, but not too generous. <laughs> really? I can't. What are That's you okay now, dear. Don't, you don't worry. use too don't much worry, salt inside. Don't worry. I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> you, ah! yep. you can't play this salt. Yep. We are old men here. You have to be generous. You must look at this kind of salt. Ah, are you serious? Okay. <laughs> I, I heard that. <laughs> so one thing about steak is you just need to be generous with your salt because at the end okay. of the day, it still, doesn't. Yeah, it won't stay for long. So if you notice, I didn't finish one full seasoning cubes. Okay. I used Why? to have because I have enough salt already. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, okay. okay, so we just run through this. Mm. You massage. Okay. Let the beef feel the love. But, but, but okay, okay, but you said we we'll tenderize it, so I was thinking we would No, we already even... did. And funny enough, why not? you can even tenderize it after this. So we're not beating it more? No, we don't need to. Here, okay. can you see it's stained already? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so right. I'm going to do so, this. So, it's uh, well done. Um, well, well done. Butter, uh, garlic, steak. Well, well done, American food. That's what I get from me. I've still not come together, but this is looking um, quite Don't exotic worry. here. I Love must say. It. All right. Okay. While we're still getting this done, we'll still get back to show you how far we've gone. Yep. Let's head over to the couch. We have a discussion coming right up. Have Mike and Eniola having way too much fun in that kitchen for my liking. But it's all good. Uh, let's have a conversation uh, via parenting this morning. Uh, we'll be talking about setting goals for your children in the new year. And uh, Juliet Vincent, who will be an educationist and child entrepreneur enthusiast, will be joining us. It's so good uh, to have you in the studio with us. Good morning. It's beginning to look like Christmas. Yes, I know, <laughs> right? It's Christmas already. Like, Christmas yeah. is already Sunday. Yeah. So, hey, we have to show that we are in the mood, the season as well. Yeah. All right. So, Christmas, of course, means New Year's a week after. And when we talk about the New Year, people usually have resolutions and all. And I find it interesting that you will talk about the children version of that, which people rarely do. Tell us about that. Okay, so New Year resolutions, they don't last past, for those who do New Year resolution past February, because... Um, February? Yes. Are you sure it's not mid-January? Uh, mid okay, oh, you are saying mid-January. <laughs> you know, back then, you know, your New Year resolutions, I wouldn't do this, I would do that, and all that. By January, you are still being, uh, uh, you are still... Uh, obedience to your resolutions but by February you are back to normal so New Year resolutions don't last because there is no um, there is no accountability there is no actionable steps and you can't even track it mm. so that is why we encourage goal setting and I discovered that parents set goals 
in their business, maybe family goals, what they leave children out of those um, um, practice. I don't know, maybe they think kids don't need to set goals, but goal setting for kids teaches them responsibility. They understand that if they are to succeed or not, it depends on them. It teaches them time management. If a child is setting goal about a particular thing they need to achieve, it will help them to be time conscious. There are some things they won't engage uh, in because they know there is something they are aiming at. So we teach them that goal setting their an act an actionable plan on what you want to accomplish or achieve or what you want to get better at. Mm -hmm. So it's not only your achievement that you set goals mm -hmm. for, but you can set goals for children, something they want to get better at. Let's say I have 60% in my numeracy last term and you know, mommy, you came out, mommy was like, look at your score. So you're thinking of how to hit 90. Mm -hmm. So you want to get better at your grades. So you set goals. So that is why it is important for children to learn how to set goals. And it will help them because uh, research has shown that people who start set, setting goals earlier in life achieve far better than those who don't know how to set goals. Because so, they live their life every day, what the day brings. But if you have goals, you have to work towards achieving them. So if an average parent is watching you right now, the person probably is even still struggling with learning how to set goals, so less of their child. So I'd like you to teach everyone, children in particular, how to set goals. Okay, so when you want to set goals, there are rules. So you are setting smart goals. So we tell them smart goals. The word smart, S is specific, M is measurable, A is attainable or achievable, mm -hmm. R is uh, uh, reliable, and T is time bound. So when you are setting goals for a child, let me use the next term, uh, you said, Oh, let me use what just happened, the football, the, the World Cup. I want to be the best player, my team. That is not a goal. Mm. That is just a wish. Mm. You can end up not being the best. Mm. But when you say, I want to score two goals each game, mm. there is specific, it is measurable. If you are scoring one, you know you are not reaching your goal. Reaching yes. your goal. Mm. It is achievable. But you can stretch yourself to say three. If you are somebody that is, you know, you are coming up, you can do four. Mm. And, you know, is, uh, is reliable. You can rely on that and say, okay, this goal is, uh, it can also be relevant. The R there is relevant. It's a relevant goal because it's something that we improve in your um, soccer skill. And T is time bound. So when you are putting, I want to score two goals, maybe you say first season, if it's something. So there should be time. So for a child in school can say, I want to, uh, I want to make 90% in my 2022 stroke, 2023 second term Resolve. exams. Mm -hmm. So now it is specific, you know what you want, 90%. So when you, you are coming home, I am seeing 80. Oh, you know, I still have 10 more to go. It is measurable, you can measure it. There is, there is a yardstick to measure that goal. It is uh, achievable because if you are saying you had 60 and you are saying 90, it's achievable. You are not saying 101. Like children will say, I want to be superstar. I want to be Batman. You know, those things are not achievable. So basically, yeah. abstract goals yes. are not achievable. Yes. But specific goals. Measurable goals. Measurable goals. Attainable are usually... goals, yes. Okay. And uh, uh, relevant goals. So when your child is setting goals, it should be something that that is something that we make a meaning to their life. So they don't just set any goal, but something that will make a meaning, and that should be time. So when you are saying first term, you are saying January, you are saying first quarter, you are saying 2023, we can know that you have a time frame to work. Mm -hmm. And it will help you to now set actionable steps mm -hmm. because setting that goals is one. Then having your actionable steps, what am I going to do daily, weekly, monthly to achieve this goal? Because if you don't have actionable steps, it will just be a written statement mm -hmm. and you are not working towards it. Mm -hmm. So when you have your actionable steps, maybe my timetable, maybe time I need to practice, if it's a child that is good in soccer, 
then the next thing is to get your accountability partner. Mm. Because if you set that goal without having somebody that will check on you, that will always remind you, remember you set this goal, you want to read, you know, uh, three books in, this, uh, in January, you are still in first book, and this is the time, the time is ticking. So you need to have an accountability partner, and we always ensure that it's their parents, because their parents are the one living with them. Mm. So these are steps one needs to take in order to set goal for 2023. Okay, so talking about uh, relatability, I, I was actually going to ask you what other goals children should set besides okay. school, because some children might already be like on 90. Yeah. And so they are probably looking at their parents now. I don't need to set any goals. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for a child, we have your academic goal because once you master these steps, you can use it for any type of goal. You have your academic goal, you have your health goal, your character goal, your spiritual goal, your financial goal. Yes, you can set your savings goal. So these are the goals. There are different kinds of goals you can set Thank even as a child. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate the fact that this is so relatable and this is something that parents can actually put to practice yeah thank you so much for breaking it down thank for you. us and thank you as well uh, oh, hopefully you'll be joining us till the end of the show because right now we have to take a break this is wake up nigeria <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the food, by the way? First of all, well done. What? Well done, butter, garlic, steak with mm. corn sacotash. This cucumber is not too sweet, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually stole it, you know, yeah? No, no, no. I'm trying to let people know that it's healthy to eat cucumber. Okay, but yeah, we're doing well done, butter, garlic, steak with, with corn, corn sacotash. Sweet corn sacotash. Oh, boy. It's yeah. an American meal, by the way. Yep. And the ingredients are working with the salt, peas, garlic, ginger, thyme, cloves, honey, onions, cucumber, beef or the steak, sweet corn, red bell pepper, dry pepper powder, rosemary, um, parsley, or lettuce, or mint for garnish. And uh, there's cooking oil, seasoning cubes, uh, fresh lemon juice, and also, uh, okay, we well, mentioned honey, yeah? Yeah. So what did we do here? So yeah, we um, sauteed garlic and um, ginger okay. um, in the oil, obviously, for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. Then we added onions to caramelize a bit. Okay. And then now we have the peas. So I put the peas first so you can, you know, soften it a bit. If I boil, if I should decide to boil, mm. it would be a bit soggy. Mm. But when you fry, it's crispy on, crispy on the outside and mm. soft on the inside. Mm. Yeah, so now this has been frying for like five minutes. So it's time to add other veggies. Mm. Okay, yeah. let's add, let's add. So we're That's adding it. the green bell um, pepper. Green and, and red, red bell pepper, yes. now. Christmas color. Mm. Yeah, mm, then okay. the sweet corn. Oh. And the cucumbers. Wow. This combination is one I... Very healthy. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to let this cook for some minutes. Mm. Add spices and voila, we're done. Okay, but we've not yet added the spice, yeah? Yeah, no, 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 no not yet. What spices are we um, going we're to gonna add We're going to put um, dry thyme, okay. just a pinch of rosemary. Mm. We're also putting um, salt, seasoning cubes as well. Mm. And pepper, just to give it a small kick. Mm. Yeah, you know Nigerians, we like pepper. Mm, small pepper. Exactly, we like pepper. You know pepper, pepper so. we can't eat too. I know. Where, where's the lemon coming in? The, um, um, we're putting the lemon towards the end. Okay. Or maybe when we're about to serve. Yeah. So yeah. the food is just meat, oh? <laughs> yeah. It? Funny enough, the, the, the protein is really the food. The other things are side dishes. No one does not. But, no one does American food. Exactly. <laughs> As a Nigerian food, we can, we can just eat only beef. Only beef. So now we um, already pan fried the other part for like five minutes. Mm. So I'm just going to flip over for the other end to cook. You can see it's a bit brown here. That's what you mm. want. That's what you want, yeah? Yeah, you don't want something. Yeah, can you see that? Mm. That's it. Mm. Mm hmm. So we're just gonna cook this for like you can do this five more minutes. Chicken, if you wanted. Yeah, you can use chicken. You can use turkey. You can use pork. You can use lamb. You can use any, you can even use fish. You can use salmon, um, red snapper fish, anything. Salmon they cost pasta, really? Yes, not very expensive. How much is like you one, know, like one salmon? Like the like, way things change, salmon. like things really really. But just average, how much like salmon? Uh, you have to start spending like five k for salmon this for size. One small, Small thing, 5k. Oh. Okay, come. 
Yeah, so wonderful, we, wonderful. We uh, only five k. I tell it was money. It's almost, almost, almost. It's all that deep. And then I think it depends on where you're buying from. No, okay. You depends go to Makoko, the fish sauce. Oh, the you're right. Sauce, yes. And it's, you, you would want to get there if you yeah. want to, you know. Mm -hmm. I get it fresh, live, okay. breathing probably. So it's once good. again, it's our. Uh, well done, butter garlic steak with sweet corn sakutash. Wonderful. That's all that you need to hear. That's what we're doing this morning. We'll just take a time out now. We'll return with the show on the flip side. What are you doing? Are you checking for the wit? <laughs> <laughs> to see whether there's a bar of gold on the inside. Can you, can you tell? You can't tell, tell. nah. You can can't. You there's, there's no sound. Anyway, it's one hour gone, and of course, we uh, have 45 minutes left to entertain you on this show. Ah, it was quite fast, yeah? It was very fast. In fact, I felt like I did nothing. But in any case, it's okay. And well, good that we get to the point. Today, we're giving our gifts, by the way. If you didn't remember from yesterday's show, we asked you guys how many times did we say the name? Uh, what was it now? Well, and, you. We, and, and uh, what's her name now? Messi, uh, Winfrey. Nah. Winfrey, Winfrey over said it, it and sports, she over said it, but it was messy yesterday. Yes, it, it was. We and picked we the winner. Do have a winner yeah? yeah, we will be telling we'll, them okay, who, we'll the tell you who the winner is inside of this hour. Welcome. It's the second hour, let's say 45 minutes left inside of a breakfast here for Wake Up Nigeria. Definitely. And of course, uh, from January to December, we keep dropping hits. And that's talking about the performances on the show back to back. And uh, yeah, uh, our keyword for today. Yes. Our Let's let you today. know what our keyword for today is. Yeah. We use that word. It's actually another name. And we're going to be asking you at the end of the show to tell us how, how many, many times, times? we said the word David O. David O. Including that time. We're not going to spoil it like yesterday's one. Exactly, exactly. In any case, the kitchen is also a buzz. I can hear the sizzling going on and all the beautiful ladies in there. What's happening? As a lot of joy coming out of that pot. And I don't know if maybe she's trying to cook the meal or she's... I'm trying I'm to exactly. complete it. Yes, yeah? she's trying to complete it. No, please don't put too much lemon inside, though. <laughs> is, it, is it for you alone? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, we want other, the acidic taste. Kind of work. Yeah, well done, well you, done, well you. done. There's a lot of... just beautiful. It looks really beautiful. Thank it looks you. really colorful, yeah. really yeah. nice, really nice. Okay, so we can't wait for the end of the show. This is one day I can't wait for the end of the show. Are you show. serious? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm looking forward to digging into the steak. You would love it. And it's got a healthy recipe as yes, well. Yes, it is. I mean, it veggies, and you have yeah. steak. Ah, Amazing. what better way yeah. to start the Christmas holiday? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We needed you guys to bring it back to us. You guys went on and on and on, so we're about to, we wanted to this, just let, let's just sit there, let, let them continue. How this, will we do? This is our one that we met Wednesday. Did you show? So, um, our name is uh, M M I M E O K O C H E. And my name is Chef Chef My yeah. name is Mary Bashwa Alimi. Yeah. You can stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv and, and on Facebook, Facebook at TVC Connect. Connect. And you yes. can also catch us on Go TV Channel 49. And on, uh, uh, you can also. Oh, so it's a so, uh, Yes, UHF. Yes. yes. And UHF. Go TV Channel 27 and UHF Band 49. 49. 49. Yes. Yeah. Now and you guys can take it over. Are, are you sure they are ready? Oh. You can also download the TVC <laughs> app via sure, Android or your stores. And of course, uh, follow us on social media at oh, TVC wow. Connect. And okay? yes, you want to catch up on all our favorite, our previous episodes yeah. on the show. Remember, we've been bringing it to you back to back from January till December. Yes. You can watch on YouTube at tvcentertainment.tv. Yes. And I hope at this point they are ready to tell us what to do this uh, 45 minutes. If not, we can no. continue. We can continue. We're not ready. Yeah. We're not ready. We can continue. We continue. The show. We're done. If you want to make it, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Listen. We're going to tell you right now what we have. Coming up, we still have singer-songwriter Paul Ahabwe, popularly known as Jay Grid. He'll be joining us for a special uh, musical performance. Uh, Alrighty, so for yesterday, we actually said that we wanted you guys to tell us at the end of the show how many times we said the word slash name Mercy. We've got a close, a close one here. So we'll pick um, the closest. We'll pick closest to the answer. And from yesterday's show, we are announcing the winner is drum rolls. I don't mind. Don't mind. Oh, yeah, so you can get it. Yeah. Actually, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Kenny Star Queen, congratulations. I think it's a lady. Congratulations, Kenny Star Queen. You came close to our actual number. So I think, Mary, you will tell. I think you should bring out and show what it is we okay. are going to be giving. No, we're not bringing okay, it so down, this is I what like, we're, like you're going to be coming inside. to pick up. Mm -hmm. uh, package. You have to tell there's, this. There's, there's a, a lot. Wait, you are the one that gave it to me. Let okay. me see. Ah. 
There's a Bluetooth, There's a Bluetooth speaker, speaker in there. Here. There's also a big, Whoa. large black hoodie and some wow. more stuff. So congratulations, sure Kenny Star Queen. We're going to be reaching out to you on social media to let you get, uh, let you particularly know um, how you can come and get your gifts. Congratulations yeah. once oh, again. Oh, you're so lucky. You yeah. got a Christmas gift from us here. On yeah. The <laughs> and talking about congratulations, congratulations to Mazino Appeal, who is Who's celebrating his wedding today. anniversary today. Woo! He doesn't want the world to know, but I just had to put it out there. How many because years, darling? How many years? His daughter called him, <laughs> and then it was all like, oh, you remember, darling? <laughs> okay, like, how, so how many is? my daughter's got a tab, and on that tab is actually my account. Okay. But she had set a reminder for 10 minutes before 8 o'clock to call daddy and mommy on their special day. Oh, so yeah. I saw it, and just as I was looking at it, she, she called, called. <laughs> uh, which is why you saw me running off. It was a nice thing. I had to call my wife immediately after. So we need to come her. for you now for, you know... My, uh, nuggets on you yeah. know how to yeah, yeah um, I think there's six seven the years now eight years eight years eight years, eight years. Eight years. Wow. Uh, thirteen years being together so that's um, more than a quarter of my life wow um, but you never stop learning in marriage that's how's it been for sure it's been it's been it's been a very very interesting ride and I'm sure that you except Mike can also attest to that <laughs> fact. <laughs> Of the of but the wait, bliss wait, wait, of wait, marriage. You're about to say Taban Sukwa. You, know? you said that? 13 is more than a quarter of your life. Yes. Sorry, the math, the math, the math is the not mathematics. mathematics. Yes, it's more than a quarter because of my life. 13. <laughs> it's more than not, a quarter of my life. 13 plus 13 is 26. It's, it's more plus than a quarter. 26, 52. No. Yes, now. I said more than a quarter. Yes, 13 is. Oh, God, Mary, Jesus, Mary, don't do this. Just stop, just stop. More than a quarter. Mary, just stop, just okay. stop. It's okay. Oh, Mary, just stop, just stop, just stop. No, so, no. Just stop. I'm your book calculator Mary, for just you. Stop, just stop. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Mathematics is not mathematics. Okay, 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 now okay. it actually makes sense why my, uh, Mazino has been reeling over David Doha. David Doha, yeah. Yeah, apparently. That's coming from. Maybe he can relate. You're so in your feelings today. Can Aww. somebody just stick on the show? Let's just... <laughs> we, let's are just not, we are not going to... Let me, say, let's check. let me say thank you very much, Jennifer, for putting up with me oh. for the past eight oh years. My gosh. Thank you very much for loving me. Thank oh. you very much for the best gift in the entire world, oh. which is our daughter, Rain. Oh, my God. I can't thank you. I'm enough. getting emotional. I need tissue, so, please. You want me to say gifts now? <laughs> Well, well, stay tuned. Time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. The APC presidential candidate has said his administration will create policies and reforms that will make Nigeria safe for living. Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu gave the assurance during an interactive meeting with the organized labor and civil society groups in Abuja. Ola Awakon reports. Presidential candidate of the APC is continuing his engagement with key players in Nigeria. This time, he is meeting with the organized labor and civil society groups. This interaction is for Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu to discuss and shed more light on this action plan for the organized labor in the country. Leaders of the Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress outlined their charter of demands touching on the need to fight corruption and the protection of the rule of law. They want him to fix education and the health sectors, among other issues, if elected. I want to hear your perspective. How do we fix our education? How do we also fix our health care so that we can be able to have a robust system that Nigerians will benefit from? To have the Secretary of Labor to be part of the labor movement because we need somebody that understands the issues of labor. No hesitation. Former NLC president and deputy DG of the Tinubu Shetima Campaign Council prepares the ground for what to expect from the APC presidential flag bearer. As you are doing, renewed hope means your task policies will be such as they are reflected in your action plan that you will tax the rich, raise the revenue, and deliver to the poor. You will support the private sector, as you have said. Ashiwaju Tinubu promised the organized labor and civil society that his administration will cater for the needs of all Nigerians to have a better life and carry the labor unions along in the formulation of policies. Our industrial policy will help the businesses and all manufacturing sectors. To you, the NLC, 
we will, as we do today, marketing and explaining this idea of a major plan to you, we will always consult with you. The APC presidential candidate also met with the people living with disabilities and he promised them adequate inclusion in his government. People ask whether you have PVC or no PVC, whether you have or not, you deserve to be catered for. Ashiwaju Tinubu stressed his plans to deepen democracy by creating sustainable policies and enhancing the security of public service jobs as well as the protection of private sector workers by upgrading labor market institutions. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Abuja. And that's it on the news updates for today on Wake Up Nigeria. There's so much more to come to stay with us. And you are welcome back. It's the season for giving. And of course, today we have with us somebody who's big on giving, especially to people who might not be as privileged as you are. And we're talking in terms of your health. Ethel, the voice is in the studio with us. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Did you choose to wear red today for a particular reason? <laughs> or Apparently. It didn't cross <laughs> Yeah, okay. Are oh, you welcome? Maybe, though. So you have Maybe. an organization. Yeah. Uh, what's it called again and what do they do? Okay, so basically it's my brand, the FL D Voice brand. Of course, it encapsulates a whole lot of other things mm -hmm. and uh, inclusive of the foundation. Oh. Yes. Oh, there is a foundation. Yes, Ethel there, Voice. there is. Yes. Oh, fantastic. They're, and they're, what does I mean, foundation do? Okay, so basically, um, the brand FLD Voice is mostly an edutainment brand, mm. you know, that caters, that does education and entertainment okay. together, you know, um, reaching out to, um, we have our target audience mostly for children. Okay. And of course, we train adults when it comes to communication and the rest of it all. Mm. But then this aspect of us where we get to carry out charity projects is mostly faced you know, to us children, mm. you know, especially children who are underprivileged mm. for whatever reason possible. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And this year, hang on a second, you look familiar. Were you here last year? Yeah, sure. Aha, there we go. Now <laughs> I get it. Are you doing the same thing you did last year? Yes, I last am. Last year, she reached out to people, <laughs> same as this year. Exactly. Only different this year because you're reaching out to... No, it's actually the same, same thing. Yeah? yeah. So the project is called taking Christmas to hospitalized children. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we, we started out the project last year, December, just within this prayer. I mean, mm -hmm. it's taking um, Christmas to hospitalized children. And then so this year we're having the 2.0. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Exactly. Why specifically hospitalized children? Why oh, did that come to mind when you were thinking you, of putting you know, together this? I've actually thought about this, but I really can't place it, mm. you know, but... Um, I was led to do it, led, I mean, by God. By the Spirit. Yes, <laughs> you can say that again. But you see, it's basically because when you come to think about it, children at the hospital, you know, Christmas in the hospital is boring, mm. especially with children. They want to play, they want to dance, they want to do, you know, you know stuff. I, I deal with kids, mm. and I know how it is when children are ill mm -hmm. they want to do so much but, but they can't mm -hmm. you know so it's something that felt like these children would have the opportunity to re to be able to celebrate christmas like we all would mm -hmm. why don't we take it to them mm -hmm. you know make them smile make them and you know last year was very remarkable because up until april this year mm -hmm. i got messages i got oh. yeah i got you know from the kids you use yeah the parents reaching out to say oh. thank you for making christmas worth it for Absolutely. them even while being at the hospital for someone with a big heart like you i'm sure that it tears you apart the fact that you can't do this for every child in yes it does it does so how do you try your best to make this a bigger endeavor <clears throat> how do you, do you do that from your pocket you know, or do you reach out to people that yes help as well Exactly. So, you know, last year we set out to reach out to 50 hospitalized children. Mm -hmm. And then this year we, we have set the target to reach up to 100. Now, but, but, but here is, here is the thing, yeah. 
we are not going to tie our joy to the number. Mm. So if we can reach out to one child, what's important is we made a child smile, mm. you know. So, but, but then if, if, we, if we have people who can come up and support because we don't just want to take Christmas gifts to them. Mm -hmm. We also want to pay the hospital bills for some of which mm. may not be able to afford. Yeah. You know, even if we can do 20%, 30%, 10% of their bills, I think it will go a whole long way, especially within this period. And we, last year or so, we were able to give out medical supplies mm. to some of them who, you know, probably could not afford some of their yeah. medications. And we, we had medications to give to them. So, I mean, if we have people who can contribute to the project by giving mod uh, medical supplies, mm -hmm. financial support, you know, when it comes to this, we set a target of 10,000 naira for a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10,000 naira for a child. So it will go a whole long way. If you get more support. Yeah. Yes, if we get more support. Nice. Yeah. Um, so this foundation, <clears throat> as it yet, it is a foundation. Yeah. What are you looking forward to come you know, next year, a year after that, are you trying to build it and make it bigger? Yes, yes, you know, I was even thinking about it last night and there's just my heart. My heart is really towards children, mm -hmm. especially children who may not be able to do a whole lot of things, you know. And I also said to myself, you know, we should be able to do a school drive mm -hmm. next year, paying fees. That will be... Quite the endeavor. Yeah. That will be great. Paying fees for children. And now this is quite personal to me. I'm doing this because I want to do it, you know, you know, by the grace of God, because growing up, I had a whole lot of time that I was driven out of school. Aww. You know? I, yeah. I, I, I see that. I had a lot of time that I was driven out of school because of fees, uh -huh. you know? And I have children who have experienced that too. It's not a very yeah. Nice it's experience. not a comfortable experience. I can imagine. You know, because they want to be with their friends, they want to do the whole exciting thing. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I try to because I also run a kids club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I try to teach these children contentment. You know, where you are enough, whether you are here or, or here, yeah. your position really doesn't define you. Yeah. So, but well, next day, I want to do so much. Congratulations, everything that you've done so far and what you're looking to do, yeah. EDV. Yeah. Um, uh, more grease to your elbow, and I hope uh, more you. support comes your way. Yes, I'm really, really hopeful. Just in case you'd like to support her, of course, you've seen her social media handle uh, across the screen. So feel free if you think that this is something that your heart also beckons to. Yeah. Let's take a very short break, and when we get back, we've got some music entertainment for you guys. Don't go anywhere. It's Still Wake Up Nigeria. to the World Cup and welcome to Champions League and Premier League. Oh, please, the baby Jai. Wow. 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 One day cannot come for it. Thank you guys. Um, <laughs> we just played the video and also to tell you that that's our keyword for today, David Oki name. So you have to tell us exactly how many times through the duration of the show, we including use it. Including the music video. Including the music, <laughs> I guess. We use it to stand a chance to be a winner for tomorrow. So we'll have that post up. And uh, you guys, uh, please uh, go out there and put your entries. Yes. So, David, aside, Mike, what are we having for breakfast? You're asking me. <laughs> I don't understand. We're not going to the kitchen. Here. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Please tell us. Okay, so over to you, Angela. Right, so, we have there um, well done buttered garlic um, steak mm. with corn sabotage. Corn sabotage. 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 Yes. Sabotage. It's, it's, um, it's, it's an American side dish, it has okay. veggies. Honey, lemon, it's just fresh, you know, Ooh, fresh packaged. Someone Chunky. took us to the US today. So yes. take it. That's how we're putting on our corn Okay, yeah. the Lord is my strength. Amen. That's what I'm going to say. And your tummy too. He's yeah. going to enjoy it. <laughs> You can also tell me that, I yes. You get what we call Nanjoja, you add Sakuta. 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 Sound like sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the bold step and just go into the steak. Go in, go in, go in. Go in. Go ahead. You didn't even tell us how what, what, uh, the, the uh, power, the, the, all the energy and the effort that went into that uh, <laughs> steak. Yeah, for she's, the steak. She's following you. Uh -huh. OK. Uh-huh. This is the first time I'm actually enjoying steak. Oh, oh wow. Annie. Thank you. <laughs> Annie. Great, thank great. You're always outdoing yourself. Thank you. Well done. You. Thank you. OK, and thank, thank you. you as well for watching Wake Up Nigeria today. We're pretty sure you join us again tomorrow, bright and early, 7 AM. Thanks to everyone who has been a part of the show today. All right. Bye-bye.